So I was doing a little bit more station automation. Um, I was um, I continued implementing um, the Stream Deck devices um, for the remote control, what we are using at ED1R. So basically, we have uh, the eight by two antenna band selector and uh, stack matches and rotators now implemented here on the stream decks. So what we see right here is um, on both of the stream decks, they, they work independently. They're actually connected to different computers. Um, we have them both here um, on uh, the port A. So basically we can switch to port B. We see that uh, currently 40 meter is activated. Uh, the same here as well. Uh, we could switch to 80 meter, 160, 40. If we do a long press, uh, we'll reach automatically um, an integrated page which shows us uh, our four towers the heading of the rotators and we have uh, down here the available antenna so here we have a two element and a rotary dipole and uh, we can basically do the same obviously we cannot deactivate um, if there is only one antenna we cannot deactivate the last one but what we can do is we can obviously activate the second one and if, again if we do a long press uh, we will go exclusively on that antenna. If we want to go back uh, we select again then let's say 20 meter where we have more antennas. Uh, here we have uh, 3 OB113 and we can, here we can do basically exactly the same. Long press on one and it will deactivate all the other antennas. Um, as for the rotators, um, it's a pretty simple view. Uh, we can enter any kind of heading directly here, or we can head over to the presets. So we want to move this one here to North America, uh, sorry, to uh, Northeast, which means Europe in this case. And we see that uh, the uh, tower is turning the antenna properly. And um, as we can see here, it's the same tower. So also here we always get the live update of the moving antennas. And the same, by the way, happens here. Also in the software, if we move along the bands, we can see that in the HTML web interface, also everything updates in real time.